Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I have an updated look at the Off-White Presto after about a year of wear. So previously I did a video of these after one month of wear and you guys kept suggesting that I do an updated version, but I thought it was a good idea to hold off and you know, get some real wear into them. So it hasn't been exactly a year yet, but it's about, you know, around that time. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys all the details that you could possibly want. Gonna go over every small detail of the sneaker. Give you guys an overall opinion of how these have held up after about a year. So if you're buying these right now, realistically, you're buying it on the resale market for about $800 to $1,000. So if you're paying that much for a sneaker, you want to make sure it's actually durable and looks good when you wear, you know, more than a few months in. So yeah, I'm going to be talking about if these are durable or not, if they're worth it or not. And just my initial thoughts about it, it's actually held up a lot better than I thought it would. You know, it's a sneaker that looks pretty flimsy on the surface. And a lot of people are concerned that, you know, it's going to look good for a couple of months and then it's going to look like trash. Now keep in mind this is the black pair so it looks a lot better than the white pair would because it's an all black colorway. But I'm going to show you guys all the details you need to know in this video so stay tuned. And you know you guys could see and be the judge of it yourself. But with that said let's get into the detailed look at them. Alright guys let's get a real up close look at these sneakers now. Again I'm genuinely surprised on how well they've held up. But I'm going to be going over some things right now like the key points that you want to focus on. First thing I want to talk about is just the upper. So the material on the upper, you want to look for, you know, tears and cuts and things like that. Now it is super stretchy as you guys can see, but at the same time, it's double layered. So it is super durable. There has these, this is just part of the design as you guys know, like the holes and stuff. In terms of external cuts, there's really nothing there. Once again, I have worn these for about a couple of times a week over the past year. So, I mean, it's just constant wear. It's not like I'm just storing it or anything like that. But as you guys can see up close look at the stitching as well it is it has held up perfectly few small issues on the stitching like right there but nothing major nothing to be concerned about next thing i want to focus on is the nike swoosh to see if you know it started tearing up on the stitching area or coming apart and it has not as you guys can see all of the stitching has remained perfect even on the area where it's attached as you guys can see it's a lot of stitching here so it's probably gonna stay on for a while because of that no complaints there going all throughout it stayed clean next i want to talk about the foam tongue now here's the thing with this pair it is a black tongue so you're not gonna see like the foam looking bad or anything but on the white pair this area on the prestos like the foam area that's exposed right here and at the top is gonna get super yellow so if you don't like that look go ahead and get the black pair it does it's not a good look on the white pair for some people it just really you know it looks bad for me i'm all right with it it's part of the design but again if you guys don't like that yellow look on your sneakers and look kind of old and kind of worn out go ahead and get the black pair so you don't have that issue now one other thing i do want to mention with the tongue area now this area right here sometimes gets stuck to the cage the nike logo so that's why you can see the bottom area is kind of slightly ripped up a little bit but again, not a big issue there, hardly noticeable. Next thing we want to take a look at is the air riding. So let's get a close look at that. No issues there. A little bit of the riding, as you guys can see on the A right here and the I right here, has kind of came off, but nothing too noticeable. It looks good, no issues there. Getting into the Velcro portion, it still works perfectly attaches easily comes off easily and sticks to the sneaker no issues whatsoever with the velcro taking a look at the medial side really quick just want to mention the cages have stayed perfectly well no issues and the riding itself hasn't come off at all so the riding i mean you can't really see it under the cage but as you guys can see here no issues with the riding so the upper has remained pretty much flawless and I actually have done a lace swap. I'll give you guys a look at the laces too. Really no dirt or anything on them. So if you just you know, wear your sneakers casually and just keep in mind that they're expensive sneakers and you gotta be a little bit more careful than usual, it's gonna be no problems on them. Getting into the midsole area of the sneaker, let's get into the midsole. This is a part of you know a huge concern for a lot of people and rightfully so. As you guys can see, the midsole area has started creasing a lot Let's get a closer look at that. Pretty much the entire midsole area is gonna have creasing going all throughout it. Nike swoosh still looks good though. And then underneath this layer, a lot of dirt actually gets stuck as well throughout this area, leading up to here, as you guys can see. And then again on the medial side, 
with the creasing we see some pretty large creases over here on this area and then once again here we see a little bit more creasing but nothing too bad two areas that i know are really important to people are the insole now let's take a look at the insole on this pair so the logo has stayed there but you guys can see on the edges right here it's definitely started wearing off it's not that perfect square look anymore so the edges have worn off but the arrows and the tan writing is still intact and last time we'll be showing you guys the outsole of the sneaker once again another area of concern for a lot of people however the prestos in general have pretty durable outsoles as you guys can see it has worn out a lot and the color has definitely faded from when i first got them however that's expected with any shoe after wear one last thing we want to look at is the heel now this is where most of the fading has happened it's kind of lost its traction a little bit however again after a year of wearing the sneaker you know constantly it's bound to happen let's take a quick look at the other one once again the upper is pretty much flawless again this is all black sneakers so you're not going to see a lot of the dirt mark the thing we want to take a look at really quick is the swoosh on this pair once again the stitching looks pretty much flawless with a little bit of an issue there but nothing big the tab is still attached perfectly the cages look great the velcro looks great close look at the medial side on this pair once again cages perfectly intact the riding looks great tongue everything looks fine the laces no dirt on them still look pretty much brand new taking a look at the insole on this pair and as you guys can see on the left side you definitely see it fading out a lot on this pair the right side of it still looks you know sharp and smooth once again the arrows and the tan have stayed intact on this pair look at the midsole here once again the creasing is the main issue with this right here you guys can see a lot of creasing going on no separation or anything though thankfully i mean it's only been a year but and here we have a few you know tears like right here we have a little bit of a tear like three small dots and more creasing but you know this isn't gonna happen to every pair it's just you know it depends on your luck if it gets stuck onto something or not and once again the creasing on the medial side take a close look at that not too bad and then the last thing i want to take a look at on this pair as well is the outsole so again you guys can see a lot of fading happening here riding is still intact the color has faded a lot and then on the heel area once again we see decent amount of fading but as expected after a year so just a few pointers the riding on it looks great the upper is pretty much flawless on both pairs no issues there these insoles as i mentioned i've started fading a little bit and the outsoles you know just casual wear but overall really surprised by how durable these sneakers are so in my opinion if you guys want to spend that resale money on them considering the off-white prestos you know my favorite model from the 10 um definitely worth going ahead and doing that they look amazing on feet and the comfort level on these is through the roof i can see myself wearing these for another four or five years without any issues so if you're just worried about durability, don't worry about it. Go ahead and spend the money and cop them. No issues, as you guys can see after about a year of wear. They look perfectly fine and no major flaws whatsoever. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Once again, I pretty much broke down everything I possibly could. They've actually held up really well. So my final take on it is that they're actually really durable and they're definitely worth copying since it's one of my favorite off-white sneakers. Now again, I've worn these sneakers for about, you know, twice a week casually throughout the past year. So it is pretty common wear. It's not like I haven't worn them at all, but I haven't done anything crazy and I'm just, you know, going out or walking around. So if you guys found that video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more. I do these type of videos pretty often. So if you're a fan of them, stay tuned and thank you for watching.